Hi, I'm 10-year-old Mateo Lambert from the great state of Virginia. I'll be representing the Lukumi Foundation on October 24th, Make a Difference Day, to help share the love. In partnership with our friends at Karen's Forest, we'll be taking gifts to an animal shelter, an assisted living facility, and a cancer research hospital. Together, we hope to show that we can make our community kinder and stronger. Our small community has big heart. Hi, my name is Sydney, and I'm from Gander, Newfoundland, Canada. And today, for Make a Difference Day, we will be visiting Orem Bethesda Manor, where we will be dropping off cheerful cards we have made and talk about the wonderful gifts they have received from Three Wishes for Ruby's residents. Next will be a drop and go of non-perishable goods at the Salvation Army Food Bank. Then, it's off to clean up and rake leaves near the Gander Town Hall. And lastly, we will hide our kindness rocks at Cobb's Pond. We're looking forward to an awesome Make a Difference Day here in Gander. My name's Justin. My name's Tyler. For Make a Difference Day, we're making 200 cards. And we're giving 200 pumpkins to elderly in Los Angeles. My name is Adriana. Here in Florida for the Kumi's Make a Difference Day, we will be making two stops. First, we will be going to a nursing home in Fort Lauderdale to drop off some inspiring smile sacks filled with snacks and also things off of the residents' wish list. Second, we will have a bucket full of fun activities to drop off of the children's SOS village. We're looking forward to a fabulous day. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Make a Difference with Lakumi Day. I'm Nick Katsouris, president of the Lakumi Make a Difference Foundation, and I'd like to welcome everyone from around the world. We have 15 countries represented here today, and as well as people from all over the United States. The Lakumi Foundation now unites over 100,000 people each year uh, to make a difference in the world. And we're thrilled today um, to have all of you with us. Uh, first and foremost, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Um, we adjusted our plans this year because of the pandemic. Usually in cities around the world, we have Lukumi Good Deed buses, where children and their families get on a school bus and do different good deeds throughout the day, making stops at an animal shelter, a senior home, a, a homeless shelter, they'll clean up a park. Um, but we adjusted this year, uh, starting with this virtual event today, and then after the virtual event, we're going to have socially distanced car caravans doing additional good deeds in 10 cities around the world, including New York, Boston, Washington, D.C. in the Virginia area, uh, the, Miami, the uh, uh, South Florida area, um, including Pompano Beach, uh, Dallas, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Los Angeles, California, um, our friends in Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, where we visited and did a great good deed bus uh, last year. So hello to everyone at Gander Elementary. Um, and last but not least, to our, our friends in Puerto Rico. Uh, we were planning to do a Lukumi good deed bus in Puerto Rico, but when the, uh, the pandemic um, interfered, um, it did not slow us down. Um, thanks to our good friend, Athie O'Keefe in New York. She has introduced us to um, Felipe and Arlene and a, a wonderful, amazing group of people down in Puerto Rico. And we'll hear a little bit more about what they're going to do today uh, on Make a Difference Day. Um, but we thought we would start off with something, a special gift to our friends in Puerto Rico. Uh, the book in back of me, Lukumi's Good Deeds, was released 12 years ago. And that's what launched the Lukumi movement. Um, it's a simple book teaching people and teaching kids to make a difference in the world and that no good deed is too small. And what we've done is the book has been translated into Spanish and it was translated by our friend Arlene in Puerto Rico. So thank you, Arlene. And it's going to be read today by one of the stars of another one of our very valued partners, the Broadway musical Come From Away. Um, and one of the stars of the Broadway musical Come From Away, Cesar Samayoa, is going to be reading Mugumi's Good Deeds in Spanish. Um, for those of you that don't speak Spanish, we are also going to have the original book with the English words on the side of the screen. So I hope you'll follow along. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Caesar. Caesar, take it away. 
Hi, everybody. I am Cesar Samayoa, and I'm from the Broadway cast of Come From Away. I am so excited to welcome you today to make a difference with Lukumi Day. Now, if you don't know the story of Come From Away, it's a beautiful, real-life story about how human kindness, how doing good deeds for one another can change the world. So I'm really excited to be reading a story about doing good deeds with you. Um, it's called Lukumi's Good Deeds. And I've definitely learned that the more I, good deeds I do for somebody, the better I feel, the more I smile, the more my heart feels amazing, and the better the other person's day is too. So why don't we jump into this story? I'm going to be reading it in Spanish. So let's begin. Lukumi y sus buenas obras by Nick Katsouris. Era el primer día de clases. Lukumi viajaba en el autobús, cuando de repente este se detuvo por completo. Lukumi vio a Gus, el guardia de cruce, ayudando a una jirafa anciana a cruzar la calle. Lukumi llamó a Gus y le dijo, Eso fue bien amable de tu parte. Y Gus respondió, Ayudar a otros es algo maravilloso. Haz buenas obras. Haz a alguien sonreír. Dale la mano a quien necesita de ti. Hagas lo que hagas. Digas lo que digas. Haz algo bueno por alguien en este día. Entonces, Lukumi se dio cuenta de todas las buenas obras que podía hacer para todas las personas especiales en su vida. Ella podría ayudar a su mamá a limpiar su habitación. Ella podría ayudar a su papá a lavar el carro. O ella podría llamar a su abuela y abuelo para decirles que los ama. Más tarde en ese día, Lukumi vio a su amigo Fistiki parado junto a un gran árbol en el patio de la escuela. Un globo rojo estaba atrapado en el árbol, y debajo de él había una gatita llorando. Fistiki saltó al árbol y rescató el globo rojo para su nueva amiga. ¿Conoces a esa gatita? Preguntó Lukumi. No, respondió Fistiki, pero eso no significa que no pueda ayudarla. Es divertido ayudar a otros. Haz buenas obras. Haz a alguien sonreír. Dale la mano a quien necesita de ti. Hagas lo que hagas, digas lo que digas. Haz algo bueno por alguien en este día. Luego, Lukumi siguió a Fistiki a su salón de clases. Su maestra, señorita Efi, repartió papel de colores y crayones y les pidió que hicieran un dibujo para alguien a quien aman. Dean, el amigo de Lukumi, dibujó una tarjeta para el cumpleaños de su abuelo. Lukumi vio la tarjeta y le dijo, eso es muy amable de tu parte. Y Dean respondió, no tenía suficiente dinero en mi alcancía para comprarle un regalo, así que quise hacer algo bonito para el cumpleaños de mi abuela. Haz buenas obras. Haz a alguien sonreír. Dale la mano a quien necesita de ti. Hagas lo que hagas. Digas lo que digas. Haz algo bueno para alguien en este día. Después de la escuela, Lukumi y sus amigos fueron al parque a jugar fútbol. Lukumi saltó al aire con todas sus fuerzas. Hizo un gran patado. Pero luego se cayó y se resraspó la rodilla. Su amiga María corrió hacia Lukumi con un vendaje y lo colocó sobre la rodilla de Lukumi. Gracias, María. Me siento mucho mejor ahora, dijo Lukumi. Ayudarte a sentirte mejor hace que yo me sienta mejor, dijo María. Haz buenas obras. 
Haz a alguien sonreír. Dale la mano a quien necesita de ti. Hagas lo que hagas, digas lo que digas, haz algo bueno por alguien en este día. Después de salir del parque, Lukumi fue para su casa y limpió su cuarto. Ayudó a su papá a, a lavar el carro. Y llamó a sus abuelos y, y les dijo que los amaba. Esa noche sus padres la llevaron a su cama y su papá dijo, Gracias, Lukumi, por todas las buenas obras que hiciste hoy. Lukumi se inclinó y besó a su mamá y su papá y luego dijo, Me hace feliz hacer buenas obras, hacer a alguien sonreír, a darle la mano a quien necesita de mí. Hagas lo que hagas, digas lo que digas. Me alegro de haber hecho algo bueno en este día. The end. Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing this story with me. I'm so excited to see what we all do together and make a difference with Lukumi Day. And remember, the more good deeds that we do for everybody, the happier we are and the happier we can make the world. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you, Caesar, for that wonderful reading of uh, Lukumi's good deeds, um, Lukumi's buenas obras. We appreciate that. And we're going to hear more from our friends in Puerto Rico a little later. But for now, I'd like to introduce one of my co-hosts today from Dallas, Texas, Beckett Potter. Hey, Beckett, how you doing? Great. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Torres. And muchísimas gracias, Cesar. I <laughs> loved it. It was the best. Well, Beckett, you're the best. And uh, I understand you're doing some great things today down in the Dallas area. Why don't you tell us what you're doing? Thank you. So, immediately following the virtual program, our Lukumi Dallas chapter is kicking off the afternoon by meeting at the North Texas Food Bank to deliver non-perishable food supplies for the community. And then, with support from Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents, we'll deliver gifts to the seniors at Garland Nursing and Rehab. We'll also be bringing artist-drawn cards because art heals the soul, just like Chef Lois cooking and handwritten notes for the residents, plus treats for Halloween. Finally, we'll help clean up a Dallas park and place rocks in the park that are painted with inspirational messages like love and hope. Kids really can make a difference with their good deeds. And now, I would like to introduce you to some great kids around the world who are leading groups to do amazing things in their city for Make a Difference with Lukumi Day, starting with our partners in Puerto Rico. Let's have a look. Hi, my name is Ezekiel Banks. Hi, my name is Daniel. Hi, my name is James Banks. We're from Aruela, Puerto Rico. We are part of the group that will deliver provisions to the homeless and to the Maria with our senior facility. On Make a Difference Day, we will bless others. Thank you to the donations made by Lukumi Foundation. Let's make a difference. Thank you, Lukumi. Hi, my name is Lionel. I'm a part of the Lukumi Kids Club. So on Make a Difference Day, my group and I will be visiting the nursing home in St. Joseph's Village in Ypsilanti, Michigan. We will be donating the Amazon wishlist items through Three Wishes for Ruby's residence, in addition to flowers and some balloons. Um, we're super excited and definitely looking forward to it. Hi, everyone. It's Dimitri Logothetis in Chicago for Make a Difference Day with Lukumi. My school, the Hellenic American Academy, is doing a car parade at the Greek nursing home. Our students donated items for the residents and will be dropping them off today. We hope they are happy to see us. For Make a Difference Day with Lukumi, my school, the Hellenic American Academy, will be collecting boxes of macaroni and cheese to the to the families in need. Well, thank you, Beckett, and thank you to all the kids around the world for all those great good deeds that you're doing today. 
Um, we're going to do some good deeds now, starting with an organization that is very near and dear to Lakumi's heart. That's St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And the, th this project that we're doing at St. Jude is really a perfect example of what we can do together and that no good deed is too small. Um, we started this project several years ago where kids make a card for a patient at the hospital and make a symbolic donation, $1, $2, $5. All these donations together have enabled us to open the Lukumi treatment room at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And here pictured is Lukumi down at St. Jude. This was in uh, October of 2019, last year, when the room was named uh, in honor of the Lukumi Foundation. And we thank all of you for all that you did for this. Um, we'd like to show you a short video about St. Jude, and then I'm gonna turn it over to two very special people, Terry Watson from St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and our Lukumi All-Star, uh, Ava Tapitsaris, who's gonna tell you exactly how you can get involved with our Lukumi St. Jude project. Some days it feels like it's never going to stop. It's kind of a, a mental war. Sometimes you just feel like it's not going to get any better. Lo primero que le pregunté a mi papá fue, papi, yo me voy a morir. When you go through suffering, you learn a lot about yourself. Good stuff comes out of every bad situation dark circles all around my eyes. I was just out of it. In one moment, those three words, you have cancer, and my whole life changed. Without cancer, who am I? I feel like I could do anything. I could go to college be a nurse, be a doctor, anything. I'm a straight-A student, focusing on getting my bachelor's degree in journalism. I'm just doing it one step at a time. I would like to go in the filming industry. It's kind of always been something awesome to me, but it's going to take some work. While I was going through chemo, I learned how to read greens. I chipped and putted, I worked on sand shots, stuff that I would need to know. The best score I've had is an 86, but I really want to get down to 85 or less. I've been working at it, and I think that that's achievable now. I'm not the same person I was when I first went into this. I'm a better human being and individual because I went through St. Jude. It wasn't like a hospital, it was like a fun, loving community, a family. You and I have vowed that we will do everything in our power to bring about the defeat of these catastrophic diseases. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, world-renowned. I need your help. Advancements in pediatric science. I can't do it alone. And clinical care. Please help me. We're going to treat children of every creed, nationality, and color. And by the grace of God, it shall be done. Good morning. Um, as Nick referenced earlier, my name is Terry Watson, and I'm the Senior Director of Entertainment Marketing at ALSAC, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I am so honored to have the opportunity to be here today and help celebrate Lakumi's Make a Difference Day. What an incredible journey Nick has taken us on through the creation of this wonderful, educational, and inspiring legacy of Lakumi. 
I first met Nick over a decade ago when he first introduced me to the world of Lukumi and his vision for helping kids, and most notably at the time, the kids at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. At that time, I had the good fortune to be able to join Nick in New York for one of the first readings of Lukumi's Good Deeds, and there it began. Shortly thereafter, Nick came to visit the hospital, then more books were authored, lots of events, launching the Lukumi Foundation, recognitions, awards, lots of schools participating, and a Lukumi room dedicated at St. Jude. And that brought lots of wonderful kids and adults finding their passion for helping others and sharing their voices to spread the word of good deeds and acts of kindness and how one person can truly make a difference. Just like our founder, Donnie, Donnie, Danny Thomas, who always has said, I would rather have a million people give a dollar than one person give a million dollars. One person can certainly make a difference. And because of the generous volunteers and donors like all of you, St. Jude is leading the way the world understands, treats, and defeats childhood cancer and other catastrophic diseases. No family ever receives a bill for travel, treatment, housing, or food because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. You help make that possible. And for that, we are eternally grateful. I continue to be so impressed by Nick for his unwavering desire and efforts to help others, which is only matched by his passion and commitment to raise awareness and funds for St. Jude Kids and other deserving charities. Our staff and patient families, when I say thank you, Nick, and thank you to all of you for your continued support. We'll look forward to a time when you can all come and visit St. Jude and see firsthand what your hard work has helped build. Nick has created a mighty army of young charitable advocates who have a clear vision and purpose of what it means to help others and will undoubtedly be future leaders. And speaking of future leaders, I had the opportunity to meet this fabulous young lady when she came to visit St. Jude last year for the Lakumi Room dedication. She's hardworking, dedicated, and already an inspirational leader. Let's please welcome a great St. Jude ambassador. Take it away, Ava. Hi, my name is Ava Sapasaris, and I'm a part of the Lakumi Kids Club. Today, I'm going to tell you about how to get involved with the Lakumi Foundation's initiative at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The Lakumi Foundation is currently working on establishing a treatment room where the patients can learn while receiving their treatment. This way, they can keep up with their education since at times they're missing months or weeks of school to receive their life-saving treatment. The first thing you can do to get involved with this project is to create a caring card for a kid at St. Jude. Be positive and let the kid at St. Jude know that you're thinking of them and that they should stay strong. Once you're done with your card, take a picture of it and email it to lakumifoundation at gmail.com. But you're not done yet, check out our fundraising website, fundraising.stjude.org slash lakumi. Here you can press make a gift. We suggest donating $5 to go along with your card, but you can donate any amount you'd like. No amount is too big or too small. We all come together to make a difference. For my dream day, I got to visit St. Joe Children's Research Hospital. Here I got to take a tour of the hospital and meet patients. It was a very heartwarming experience. I created a team and you can too. If you press register, you have the option to register as an individual, register and start a new team, or register and join an existing team. I raised over $13,000 for this project and I am working still to raise more money. And you can join me too. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you, Ava, and thank you, Terry, and uh, that video, I've watched it five times and um, it, it, still, it still gets me. Um, I thank all the kids over the last several years for donating your dollars and your contributions and your cards because you are the ones that opened this room, so I thank you. Um, and in your chat box, you will see the link for our St. Jude page where you can go on and you can create a team and you can make a donation. It's www.fundraising.stjude.org slash Lukumi. So I hope you'll visit. Um, with next good deed is uh, with another partner that, um, that is very dear to us, and that's the award-winning Broadway musical Come From Away. We co-published a book last year with 75 inspiring stories that make a difference. Um, and when that happened, we started a program with Come From Away and the 9-11 Tribute Museum called Never Forget Letters. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the story behind Come From Away is on 9-11, 
um, over 7,000 airline passengers were diverted to a small, beautiful town in northern Canada uh, called Gander in Newfoundland, Canada. And it was um, the, the town embraced these stranded passengers. They didn't have enough hotels. They didn't have enough, uh, you know, restaurants, but they rallied behind these people and showed them kindness at a time when there was so much uncertainty at the world and these people couldn't get back home. Um, back in the United States, um, many, you all know what, what happened. Many of you kids are reading about it in, in your textbooks. And we have this program where we are writing never forget letters for families that lost loved ones on 9-11. And I have the pleasure of introducing to you now a wonderful woman named Jeanette Gutierrez, who is a 9-11 survivor. Um, she worked across the street from the North Tower on 9-11. And when she heard everything going on, she didn't know it was a terrorist attack. She wasn't sure what was going on, but her sister called her and she told her that they need to get out of there. And they got out, thank God, in time before the towers fell. Uh, Jeanette's here to tell you her story and to also give you some inspiring words about these never forget letters. Jeanette. Hello everyone and hello to my friends in Gander. I am thrilled to be a small part of Lukumi's Make a Difference Day. As Nick mentioned, I'm a 9-11 tour guide. When I give tours of the 9-11 Plaza, I tell my personal story. Sometimes it is hard for me to share. I do it because it's important to never forget. And I have to say that I get support from other tour guides who are with me and even from the people who are taking this tour who are strangers sometimes it's a small gesture like a pat or um, a smile or even a hug but those things make such a difference to me and um, I have a friend her name is Anne she's also a 9-11 tour guide she lost her husband on 9-11 he was a firefighter and she told me that the days and the months that followed 9-11 were filled with support for her from all walks of life, prayers from her church, uh, platters of food from her neighbors, of course, telephone calls and love from her family and letters, letters from children from all around the world. She said these letters really helped her because they were something personal, something permanent that she received, she could touch them and she could put them away in a drawer. And when she wanted to feel connected to the person that wrote the letter, she would take the letter out and reread it. And I thought, I thought that was pretty profound. Um, as I said earlier, there's one thing that the 9-11 community always says, and it's never forget. I mean, how could we forget? How could I forget? 9-11 is a part of me I, and I can't deny that. But it's been 20 years and so much has happened between then and now. Good and bad things have happened between then and now. Um, so receiving a letter now would from, from um, children would mean so much to so many people in the 9-11 community. You might wonder why, why now? Well, two things. One, if a kid is writing about 9-11, they had to hear it from somebody. They weren't even born on 9-11. So they, they didn't live through it. They don't know about it. Somebody had to be speaking about it, which means there's an adult out there who did not forget and is not afraid to talk about it and tell their story or the story about 9-11. Two, that kid that heard the story, that child, has been so moved and inspired by what they heard that they're gonna sit down and write a letter. To me, that is just beautiful. And during this time, when most people, including me, are stuck at home or close to home, how cool would it be to walk to the mailbox, open it and see a letter inside? I think that would be beautiful. And so now here are two kids, two wonderful children who have written letters. Thank you. 
Dear friends, my name is Beatrix. I'm currently 12 years old and the daughter of Sharon Wheatley, the actress of Diane in Come From Away at the Schoenfeld Theater. For the past five years, I've been learning about today the, the events that occurred on 9-11-2001. What I'd just like to say is that we will never forget that day or the people who sacrificed their lives for all of us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm the daughter of Come From Away's music director, Ian Eisendrath. Myself and all the other kids of Come From Away have been on this journey for the past five years. We have learned so much about 9-11 and the losses so many have faced. I want you to know that you and your loved ones will not be forgotten, Lucy Esdra. Thank you, Jeanette, and thank you, girls, for those wonderful letters. And I hope you at home will take some time later today or tomorrow or next week and send us your letters so that we can get them to 9-11 uh, to families. Please send us your letters, just like your St. Jude cards. Please send them all to lukumifoundation at gmail.com. Uh, you can take a picture of them or scan them or attach them and send them to us at lukumifoundation at gmail.com and we'll make sure that they get them. Um, our next good deed has to do with nursing homes and our partnership with the amazing organization, Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents. Um, during the pandemic, nursing home residents have been among the hardest hit. Um, many of them have been secluded. They can't see their families. Their families can't come to visit. And we have teamed up with uh, Ruby Kate Chitsey, the founder of Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents, and her amazing mother, Amanda, uh, to help nursing homes. Um, in our Inspiring Stories book last year, Ruby wrote an essay about the nonprofit that she founded where they fulfill wishes of nursing home residents. So what we have done with Three Wishes is we have created 12 wish lists on Amazon for nursing home residents, things that these residents have requested. I hope you will go on to our website um, and also look in your chat box and you'll see the link, which will take you directly to that link and support one of these nursing home residents and really make them smile. That's what this is all about. It's about taking something, going on Amazon, buying something that they want, and just making them smile during a very difficult time for them. Um, so now I'd like to turn it over to our wonderful partner, Ruby, who's going to tell you a little bit more. Hi, kids. Thanks for joining us today. My name's Ruby Kate Chitsey, and I'm the CEO of my nonprofit, Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents. I started this organization to help nursing home seniors. You may not realize it, but there are 1.5 million nursing home seniors in America's nursing homes. Nursing home seniors have been hit hard by the pandemic. They need us now more than ever. Some have not had a visitor since March 2020. That's a long time ago. They need us now more than ever. They need our love and support. Go help us by checking out our Amazon wish list. I want to thank all the kids who made a difference today and took their time to make a senior smile big. Visit our website, check out the Amazon list, and help a senior today. Yes, this is the, uh, thank you, Ruby, for that wonderful explanation. This is the website, uh, which is also in our chat room on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, and I have to tell you a story that just developed yesterday. One of the 12 nursing homes that we're supporting is a Care One facility in Lexington, Massachusetts, in the Boston area. And what they were, what they said was they were so inspired by what we were doing in nursing homes around the country that they on a corporate level have decided to pay it forward and participate in what we're doing. And they are making over the next month, 550 additional wishes come true for nursing home residents in honor of Make a Difference with Lukumi Day and Three Wishes for Ruby's residents. So, Thank you to everyone at CARE One. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Amanda. And uh, now I'd like to introduce you to another one of my co-hosts here, Julia Katsouris, who's gonna tell you about something else that we're planning for nursing home residents this upcoming holiday season. Julia? Hi, everyone. My name is Julia Katsouris, and I'm a member of the leadership team at Studio B Dance Company. Usually around the holidays, we host a nursing home tour where we travel to different nursing homes and we dance our dance routines. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we won't be able to perform our routines this year, but we have a surprise. We're going to be videotaping our performances and sending them to nursing homes around the world. Here's a sneak peek. Dance 
Center. I'm also a part of the Laguna Make a Difference Foundation. We're working hard to bring you our special show, Dancing in December. Have a great day and we'll see you in December. Thank you to everybody at Studio B and uh, Nancy Solomon for preparing that, and we can't wait to see the show. Um, so here in New York, you've heard about a lot of things that are going on in different parts of the world, but here in New York, we've got some special things going on too, and one is for nursing homes. Julia, what are we going to do in New York? We're going to hold car caravans, and we're going to surprise the residents. Yes, we're actually holding three car caravan parades, uh, first at St. Michael's Home for the Aged in Yonkers. Then we're going to be hitting two arch care facilities, St. Vincent de Paul in the Bronx, and then the Cardinal Cook Health Center in, um, in Manhattan. So anyone that would like to join us, uh, we should be at St. Michael's at about uh, 2.30, at St. Vincent de Paul about 3.15, and then uh, about 4 o'clock um, at the Cardinal Cook Center. So hope you can join us. In addition, what else are we gonna be doing, Julia? We're gonna be cooking. Yes, we are going to be cooking, which takes us to our last segment. And in addition to, um, as we mentioned, how nursing homes have been hit, um, the homeless have been hit so horribly during this pandemic. Um, many more people need food to eat. Homeless shelters are having difficulty keeping up. So we thought we could do something today to help the homeless to, and to feed the hungry. Um, and we are going to be going to the Oasis, um, uh, the Oasis um, shelter later today and bringing some food uh, and also dropping off canned goods at the Hope uh, Food Pantry. But the food that we're going to be cooking is going to happen right now. And I'd like to introduce our very good friend, uh, celebrity chef Maria Loy. Maria, who is a television star, she is a best-selling author, but most importantly, she is a, a dear, dear friend of Lukumi. And Maria, nobody supports Lukumi and, and does selflessly what, what you do. Um, and we thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything because the only thing that I have to say, it's everything about you, what you have done for Lukumi. And we are very, very grateful. Oh, hi, Dara. I see Dara hi. as well. <laughs> so, and we have Julia, to are you going to cook with me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love it. It's a bit chopped your head, but it's okay. That's technology. <laughs> so uh, today, of course, we're going to do something super easy that everyone can do, really. You know, like we have pasta okay the orzo you know Beckett my orzo right <laughs> he loves me so um, and a lot of vegetables and you can use any vegetables you want but we have a special reason to do this today Dara no for oh, why? We why are you doing this well the reason that we're all on this this uh amazing virtual event today is for Lukumi's make a difference day and so Obviously, if we're cooking something with lots of vegetables, it's going to be good for you. But it's not just good for you. It's good for other people, too, like those who are in need. And you're going to be delivering the food that you make to these homeless shelters, which is really amazing. So bravo, as Chef would say, bravo. So, <laughs> And let's start cooking now. So first advice that I have to give, always have your recipe next to where you cook. OK, it will make your life easier. So we're going to set, oh, you have it. I don't know if Becky has it. Uh -uh. Becky, do you have the recipe? <laughs> yes, I got him. So, yeah, uh, Maria, okay. We already cooked this morning. <laughs> I did, okay, you I'm sorry, you. I didn't know. You know, I, I, I was in another Zoom before, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, what do we need to do that? Peppers. Becky, do you know anything about peppers? I don't hear you to jump in. Yes. First, did you okay. know that colors are indications of their likeness? They're all the same species, but green peppers are the least right. Yellow are almost right, and red are 
perfectly right. And um, I have to tell you as well, oh, do you have something else for the peppers? I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. And because red peppers are perfectly right, compared to green bell peppers, the red ones have almost 11 times more beta carotene and one and a half times more vitamin C. Good. You're amazing, Becca, all the time. So I have a hat, saucepan here, you see? I don't know if you can see it. Can see it? I can see it. You can see it? Okay. So, and I put the peppers, okay? And then uh, I add the zucchini. Let me see, let me see, Miss Julia. Do you know anything about zucchini? I do. <laughs> Um, a member in the squash family, zucchini is full of vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, and folate. She knows everything. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. You have to participate in all cooking classes that we're doing, Julia. From now on, she's with us, right, Dara and Beckett? She's a team. Julia, welcome so. to Team Loy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and zucchini, right? Yep. So. Did Tell you me. know that zucchini is also good for your skin, your heart, it strengthens your bones, and it's good for your overall uh, homeostasis in your body? It's probably why Julia is so beautiful. <laughs> That's good. Usually, we cut this like we diced these uh, vegetables. But today, I saw them like they were so good. So I cooked it before, and I said, okay, I just like them. That's all. Very thin. And uh, I will add some salt from Mesologi. Why we're doing that, Dara, to get the water? Mm -hmm. Well, while we're doing that, I'm going to tell you about what's coming up, which are the onions, which happen to be my absolute favorite because mm -hmm. I like all things allium, which is also known as all the things that people think make your breath smell bad. They are really good for you. And in this recipe, we're using both white and red onions. Uh, red onions mm -hmm. are a better source of vitamins like C and then minerals like calcium and iron. Uh, white onions also have them and they are full of antioxidants, but red onions are really like strengthy in that respect. And you can tell because of the way they like smell and that flavor. It's part of why they're so good for you raw, but also cooked. They're also, they've got so great anti-inflammatory uh, effects and in general, they're really good at helping clean out your cells. Can I have that one? No. <laughs> but I just want to, <laughs> to ask you people, you know, because I always say, you know, they're not red, they're purple. Is it purple? This is purple, this is purple. Did you see that? Yes, right? you're 100% correct in so far as the color. I don't know where the etymology of a red onion versus a white onion or a yellow onion came from, but I will get back to you on that. Okay, so you have to do that because otherwise we're not right. We're not teaching people. We're not informing people. Maria, so, Nick, if you want to say something, you can say. Yeah, in the next cooking class, we'll report back on that. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You're a good student. Yeah. <laughs> so, carrots, carrots, everyone, anyone? Okay. Back it. I cannot hear him. I cannot. I cannot hear. I, nobody can. I think he's muted by accident somehow, some way. But I did think that he was pointing to his eye and saying that they are good for your eyes. Can you hear me yeah, now? But can yes, we, we can. Him? Yes, yes. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, carrots are so healthy. Full of beta carotene, which is great for your eyes. But they are also high in antioxidants like lycopene, the same as in tomatoes, and fiber. So they're good for your skin, heart, and health. Plus, they lend a bit of sweetness to dishes, too. So, thank you very much. Speaking of tomato, we have the, your favorite tomato, right? <laughs> <Keep Enough. noise. laughs> that's good so who knows about the tomato and uh do we, julia what else do you know about all these vegetables so back, uh, back in one moment let me ask julia what she knows what? No, olive oil. I she she's uh oh, she's waiting olive oil? she's waiting for the final touch the olive oil okay, beckett's gonna talk about okay. his favorite though beckett tell us okay. about tomato paint Tomato right. paste is full of vitamin C and lycopene, an amazing antioxidant that is good for your heart, your skin, your circulation, 
and for men, with frosting. Plus, it's a great thickening agent and provides tons of flavor additions. That's great. So, as you see, we put everything in one pot. It's so easy. And I, you can, for you, it would take like one minute, actually, to put it in the pot. I just wanted you to have some more information about the vegetables. That's why we delayed the pot a bit. So, olive oil. Julia? <laughs> I got loy olive oil. <laughs> Oh. Olive oil. <laughs> the best. <laughs> I, I olive know that. Who wants to speak? I can. Do you know? Yeah. Olive oil comes from olives, which are actually a fruit. There are so many good things about olive oil that I can say, but the most important is that it, it boosts your immune system and has antioxidants that are known to protect, protect against cancer and is really good for protecting your lungs. That's that's great. That's that's really nice of you, Julia, to know that stuff. And we'll teach you more about mm -hmm. olive oil, how to choose the best olive oil. Okay, in the next Zoom, and the next Lukumi Zoom, we have to teach them. So you want everything to say something about it? Everything in moderation except love, olive oil, and Lukumi good deeds. <laughs> good job, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is good job. Yeah, great job. So we put this, okay some pepper. I don't add more salt now. And uh, if you add celery, you know, because you can change your uh, vegetables, whatever you like, uh, don't add a lot of salt because celery has salt. Now, we put the krifaraki. We call it krifaraki or manestra. How do you call it, uh, Nico? The orzo, how do you call it in, uh, in your village? Manestra. That was my grandmother's. Uh, Manestra. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I have to say something that uh, Chef Anthony Walter is cooking along with us. It's a big honor for me, you know, that he's joining the Lukumi Zoom today. Can maybe can we see Chef Anthony, please, for a minute? Can we see? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, can we? Oh, there he is. <laughs> sure can. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, hi. Who's this beautiful I think you're one? I'm muted. Yep, hold on. Hi. There you are. Hi. Okay. Happy Lukumi. Happy Lukumi Day to you. Thank you so much Thank for inviting you. us. This is my daughter, Molly. Hi, nice to meet you. Of, of my three, she's the one who loves to cook the most. And uh, right. so we're cooking along with you. Another great recipe. And um, I, I just have to say, what a great role models all these kids are for other kids when people have maybe they're lost have nothing else to do or they're not sure where they should be in life so you know nick kudos to you the foundation everything you guys have all done uh and thank you so much for thinking of me anything you ever need you know you can count on me and anything we could ever do for you so thank you i, I can't say enough thank it's you an honor. remember remember because you're going to have again with other lukumi right nick should I say that? Should we yes. already <laughs> for the next year to have the Lukumi in the New York Athletic Club? <laughs> yep, yep. Right? So, well, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's one more thing. We, yeah. You promised to make a Lukumi Zoom together to teach people, to teach Absolutely. the kids, to teach others. Okay? Yeah, but with your daughter, do. huh? Okay. Yeah, we'll bring thank you guys. So, Thank you. Chef Anthony, maybe you know everything, you know, like in uh, cooking, but this is like the risotto. How you do risotto? This is the easiest thing. So now we add slowly, slowly the. I, I had olive oil before, I add like a cup or something of water, very hot water, okay? Or broth or whatever you like. So that's it. I put already the orzo, and you can add as much orzo as you want or less more whatever okay depends on your family i think today Nick, you put more orzo in order to feed these people right yes we've got Our brothers several, and sisters yeah we have several trains all ready to go to the uh the oasis homeless shelter great so and this is going to take like uh five six minutes but i don't want to take more of your time so i had it ready i made it i don't know if you can see it here see it it but, looks delicious. You can, oh, yeah. Nostimo. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Nostimo. <laughs> Back in your Greek now. And um, in order to, to say that it's delicious, yeah, and I love you all. All.
thank you, Nico. And I wish that I could come with you and uh, with all the people in the buses around the world. Come on, Lukumi is international now. So big. And we love you, Maria. <laughs> really, all that you do, all that you've done during the pandemic, feeding so many first responders, you're a perfect example for all these kids to follow. So thank you. You haven't seen anything yet. And people, they haven't seen anything yet what Lukumi did. Right, Beckett? Yes. And remember what Chef Lukumi said. If you don't like something, change it. Add your favorite herbs, <laughs> add your favorite vegetables, or change the dish entirely and turn it into a salad or soup version. The choice is up to you. <laughs> okay. Well, Beckett, you just bye -bye, guys job on all our cooking classes so <laughs> great job buddy. and yeah, Dara and Maria, thank you for for always being there that looks delicious and i know that everyone in the shelter is going to really enjoy it here cheers mm. we'll cheers you with the olive oil here <laughs> so i just oh. thank not only everyone in the cooking segment but i want to thank everyone who has tuned in and everyone who's gonna be doing these incredible good deeds all around the world today. Not just the things that we learned today online, not just the things that you're gonna do now in the socially distanced car caravans in all the 10 cities, but I want you each to think of something that you can do, something that you can take your talents and do to make a difference in the world. It doesn't have to be anything big, um, it can just be something that means something to you where you can make a difference. Because as you've seen, every good deed counts. Every good deed matters. And collectively, we can make a huge difference. So let's not do good deeds today. Let's do great things and continue to do great things. So thank you all for following the Lakumi movement. Have a great day and happy Make a Difference with Lakumi Day. Thank you.